All right, hello. So today I'll be doing kind of a play-by-play -play of my BM Hunter one that I just completed. This was actually significantly more challenging than the other ones I've done. Um, I made a mage. If you know you're watching this and you're not familiar with my content, so yeah, I haven't really played much of my BM Hunter though he's level 60. Um, but the mage ones were just a lot easier to handle than this one. This one requires a lot of kind of perfect CC in management of what you're doing. You can see I just got hit by one of those little earthquake things, so obviously can't be that good mechanically. Um, but all you have to do is make sure you never cast Felburst, because that will instantly kill your pet, and make sure the worm never casts Sonic Scream, because that will do about half your HP, or 30% of your HP. So, yeah, and as a hunter you can't heal through it. So, since his Felburst cast happens every like 15 seconds, you have to use Freezing Trap or your stun on it, and for the Sonic Scream, you can just cast Scare Beast. Um, and this fight gets a lot easier once you learn the timings, because then you just know when to expect when you're supposed to do it. And then also, there's gonna be those totems that spawn like that all the time. Uh, and the adds you can ignore, they don't really do any damage. But yeah. So, the way to interrupt Sonic Scream is just spam cast Scare Beast on it, that you're not going to cast it unless it's actually um, casting, you know, the Scream, because if you do, it might diminishing return, and then you won't actually be able to cast it when you need it. So, but after a while, this fight just gets into repetition. Um, after Earthquake, he does his Fell Burst, and you'll just get a sense for when he actually casts it anyway. Um, I like to kind of hold my frenzy or barbed charges, barbed, I don't even know what they're called, the barbed thing, barbed wire charges, um, to force my pets to run over to a place, because uh, they just kind of delete the little ads when that happens, and they just beastly them. That guy always casts his song screen right when he comes up, and then he'll cast one more uh, before he goes back down. So it's pretty simple, you just gotta look out for it. He typically does it a few seconds after the fell burst that this guy casts. So you, now I'm on the lookout to see if your mug's going to cast his scream, and there it is. I don't manage to interrupt this one, so I'm like just laying it through. Um, once you get to the part, so that now he's casting Earthquake, he's going to cast his little Felburst next. Once you get to the later parts, you'll have to worry about their health, because once you kill one of them, the other engage, enrages. Typically you're just killing Tugar, because the worm actually starts the fight with like a 90% damage reduction, which it loses during this phase when it runs through those rocks, um, which is why I'm staying near them to try and direct it into them. And two guards is just a lot more dangerous, so yeah, you can pretty much take almost no damage from the worm. And those things take a really long time to drop, so you have plenty of time to cast Scare Beast on them. They tend to overlap pretty often with when you have to cast Scare Beast. But yeah, this is just the fight. Um, it looks kind of, maybe not horrible, but it's actually really, really hectic. Uh, I kind of love it though. It was insanely fun to do. So yeah, but definitely very challenging. I was having a huge amount of trouble with it last night. As in why I say huge amount of trouble, I mean like I was dying at like 80% of his HP every single time. Um, and it was only this morning, maybe because I, you know, slept or something, I don't know, that I was able to do it, um, and I watched a couple more guides just to get a better feel of the cooldown timings and everything. Not cooldown timings, but like his timings. Definitely using my cooldowns wrong, because I don't play BM Hunter, and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to line everything up, but whatever. One thing I do want to mention that's super helpful for this fight is the Overcharge Anima battery, if you have that, because that just makes your Scare Beast cast really quick right and if it's fast then you can cast it after you notice he's casting it um, which is the main problem <laughs> so and then as you get later in the fight it actually comes harder because his fell burst cast starts overlapping with the sonic scream um, in that case you're typically going to want to do something to tolgar and uh let the song scream go through because if his fell burst comes through it will insta kill your pet and if it goes through on you it'll insta kill you so now i have to go kill that totem because if i don't it'll explode and i'll die because it'll stun me for like seven seconds i am a human actually which i probably end up using sometime during this because i think i get stunned um 
but yeah. This is a fight where your DPS matters a lot less than just the mechanics, because it doesn't matter how long you take to kill him. Uh, if you don't really get hit by many of the mechanics, then you're fine. So you'll notice there's gonna be times where I actually just stop DPSing, because I'm just waiting. So right here, maybe? No? Okay. There's gonna be times I stop DPSing, because I wanna make sure that I'm not on the GCD uh, when Sonic Stream comes out, and that I have enough focus to cast Scare Beast. It only costs like 10 focus or something, but that can be a trouble when you're spamming your BM buttons, you know? And this foe Surge Tomes can actually be AoE'd, um, so your like Frenzy Stomp, Barbed Frenzy Stomp can kill them. But yeah. So I'm just trying to situate him in the middle of this, so my Beast Cleave can help take care of this. And your talents are going to be just the standard talents that, uh, that you run in Mythic Plus. You don't change anything. Um, personally, I'm not using any weird gear. Um, this guy actually has like really bad trinkets, except for the overcharged anima battery. But yeah. It really is just a mechanics fight. And I mean, I, like, I, I messed up on this all of last night. Like I was, I tried it for probably two hours or something. You can see there's the overlap. I managed to freezing trap and kick him, which I don't know how I did that. But yeah, adrenaline, I guess. So now he's starting to get a little lower, which is nice. You're gonna wanna wait to lust for the worm, uh, cause that's when he is enraged. And you're actually just gonna melt the worm. The worm phase is super easy. Um, so yeah, I would have killed it the first time I got to the worm phase, except I lusted right when he went into this phase, even though Tolgar was dead. Um, which was pretty unfortunate, so I had to do it again, but it's alright, made it the next attempt. But yeah, it's, this fight is actually super scripted. You can see there that the Felburst and Sonic Screams have started lining up, so what I ended up doing was just stunning the uh, Sonic Scream and like freezing trapping or kicking Tugar, um, so yeah. They're overlapping again, right? It's like, it's a little difficult to deal with. This is, you will want to run natural mending instead of like camouflage or anything, um, but you don't want to use your exhilaration too liberally. I should probably have used it here since I'm not gonna get hit by anything else. Also, it can help for you to stand close to Tugar to Freezing Trap him right when that comes out, because Freezing Trap does have its travel time, and we all have human reaction times, so yeah. You almost certainly are going to want your Scare Beast on a Slash Cursor macro, and your, or on a Slash Mouse over macro, um, and then your Freezing Trap on a Cursor macro. Done that, freezing trap this. T's getting close to dying. We're just going through the same motions, making sure the song string doesn't go off, make sure the uh, burst doesn't go off. But yeah, these things just get deleted if you put some barbed frenzy snacks on them. Still don't know what it's called, but yeah. It will be interesting to see which challenges they're going to nerf. Honestly, um, I think this is a good candidate for them to nerf. Maybe they can just nerf the Sonic Scream damage, but yeah, nerf it by half, I imagine, would actually be like an okay thing. Not that you can ignore it completely, but you, like letting some go off won't be the end of the world for classes with no healing. There you can see my pet dies, because I let the Felbers go off, so I have to res it. I'm gonna cast Misdirect on it to hopefully get more aggro. I'm waiting for the scare beast to happen. There it is. Sorry, the song stream. I'm kinda low HP, so I just health fought. I lost here, and now it's just burning the last 30%. This is why you wanna cleave off of him, so you don't have to spend too long with him in rage, because he is still chunking me a decent bit, and I don't have exhilaration up for a few, another few seconds, so.
that's it. Boom. It's really just a repetition fight. You just keep hitting it until it's dead. It's a lot of fun. Good luck.